Hi everyone, this is Anthony Giuliano with the Linked Institute blog, and today we're going to take a look at saved searches on LinkedIn. Saved searches allow you to save a little time and allow you to also keep track of search results that are new since the last time you did a particular search. Let me show you how it works. You'll want to log into LinkedIn and then go to the advanced link next to the search box. Now, if I click on the people link, what I'm going to do is see the menu that I would expect to see when I do an advanced search. And I'm going to enter in some terms just to do a hypothetical search. Let's see, I wanted to look for all folks who have the word marketing somewhere on their profile. And I'm going to refine the search. So I'm looking at Indianapolis within 50 miles. Let's say I want to look at my second degree connections, people who I don't have a direct connection to, but who have a connection in common with me. And then finally, under industry, let's say I choose higher education. All right, so just to recap what I'm really saying to LinkedIn here is I'm saying I want to identify people in higher education within 50 miles of Indianapolis who have the word marketing in their profile who happen to be second degree connections. In other words, not people I'm directly connected to, but who are one step removed from me. When I click on search, I'm going to get these results. And as you can see, they are folks who work at places like Ball State, Harrison College, and others in the Indianapolis area. Now, up in the right hand corner, you see this link that says save search. If I click on that, I get to give the search a name. And let's say I call it Higher Ed Marketing Indianapolis. All right, and you'll also notice that I have the opportunity to get an alert. In this case, I can get it daily, weekly, monthly, or never. All right, now, once I click on that check mark, it's going to save it, and I have the opportunity to edit it. Now, here were the, here's where the fun part comes in. You'll see I previously saved a search called test. Now, that was one that I set up just to demonstrate what happens a week after you save a search. Well, when I click on that link, you'll see I get a search in this case of secondary connections in the logistic and, logistics and supply chain industry. But here's the really cool thing. That test search is something I get emailed me every week and I get the new results for that given search. So I don't have to re-enter the keywords. And if I've already done a analysis of the search results I got individually, this is a way to focus my attention on the new results from a given search. So that's a brief overview, but I'd encourage you to play with it and to, and to take a look at how it might be relevant to you. It's also important to know that you can save up to 10 searches for your account. If you have a paid account, I believe it's three if you don't. So it's worth testing this on your own. If you have any questions, drop a note in the comments or connect with me at my blog, which you can find at anthonygiuliano.com. Thanks.